Hi. I wanted to tell you why my students got so excited about this book. It's called 3D Gospel in English, and it helps them understand how to witness to people that come from various cultures. You know, my graduates are going to Central Asia, to China, to Africa, and they need to understand the various cultures in order to witness to them effectively. Well, you're probably wondering, why am I telling you about this book? Well, because it's also available in English. It's very helpful. And if you have any trouble witnessing the people in your neighborhood who come from another culture, this book could help you understand how to best bring the gospel to them. As we have on the board here, uh, there's three basic cultures in the world. There's the uh, guilt-based culture that we all come from in the West, where we're concerned about forgiveness, uh, that Jesus died to take away our sins. There's also the shame-based cultures, uh, where they're more concerned with honor, and we talk about Jesus restoring the honor that they lost because of sin and making them part of his family. And then there's the, the fear-based cultures where they're so concerned about the evil spirits, the darkness that tries to control them, and they, and they want to get some power in their lives. And of course, we talk about Jesus, who is the victor over the darkness, and how he can help them uh, and set them free. So if you've had trouble witnessing the people, because they came from one of these other cultures and you're using the guilt-based culture approach to the gospel, I can see why it might not have been so effective. Now, before you wonder if we're changing the gospel, no. It's all through scripture that the Lord looks at these things in these different ways. In fact, one uh, part of scripture, Ephesians 1, 18 and 19, addresses all three in two verses. And there are many other places you can study about it in the book. So if you have opportunity to witness to people and you want to be more effective with them, I recommend you look at this book. And to tell you the truth, it's helped me personally because I realized that my view of what God has done for me was limited. That although it's very true that Jesus died to forgive my sins, to take my guilt away and make me innocent before God and accepted by the Father, it's also true that He died to take away my shame and make me part of His family and to grant me a measure of honor. It says we'll be higher than the angels someday. And also, He's delivered me from the darkness of Satan. He has set me free, and I rejoice in that. So this book has helped me understand all that I have in Jesus and made me a little more grateful. No, a lot more grateful. So if you're interested in this, I recommend it. Uh, it's available uh, not only in paperback form, but also in electric form. So if you get a chance to get it, yeah, go for it. Uh, that's my tip for today. If that'll help you, great. <laughs> Bye for now.